In the Civic Innovation Project, our team is working together to launch an operational next generation decision support tool that will dramatically advance emergency managers' ability to lead hurricane evacuations effectively and efficiently. It's called the Integrated Scenario-Based Evacuation Tool. When a hurricane is offshore, emergency managers have to repeatedly decide whether or not to issue official evacuation orders. As we do so, we have to integrate many types of changing and uncertain information. It's a complex process and stakes are very high. That's why my colleagues and I are excited to work with our research and industry partners to make this ISE tool a reality. The ISC tool integrates meteorology, hydrology, storm surge, population behavior, and traffic models into an overall decision optimization framework. To understand what the tool can do, imagine it's Sunday, September 9, 2018, and Hurricane Florence is in the Atlantic. We ran the ISC tool with the information available at that time to illustrate the types of output it can provide. It first generated a collection of hurricane scenarios as shown in the upper left, each of which represents one realistic way the hurricane may evolve from that point on. The scenarios are grouped into bundles with other similar scenarios and color coded as shown. In this case, for example, the figure suggests that in the next six hours, the hurricane could take a more southerly route like the blue tracks or a more northerly route like the red tracks. In addition, the tool generates an evacuation plan for each bundle of scenarios and organizes them into a tree shown in the upper right frame. Clicking on the red bundle of tracks corresponds to the red branch of the tree. Each branch of the tree also has associated maps showing the expected flooding and wind speeds and evacuation orders recommended for that time period. In this case, it suggests that if Hurricane Florence evolves like these red tracks during the next six hours, then orders should be given in the zones highlighted in the lower right. By contrast, if the hurricane evolves like the blue scenarios in the next six hours, then we would expect this flooding and evacuation orders should be given in these zones. By the end of the event, we will know how the hurricane actually evolved and we will have followed one path all the way through the tree. Overall, the tool provides a set of contingency plans, one represented by each path through the tree. Each is a phased evacuation plan that indicates where to issue evacuation orders in each time step and the circumstances under which that plan should be followed. This is new information, not previously available in other products. The ISE tool offers a number of benefits that aim to support emergency manager decision making. The hazard is treated in an integrated way, so for each scenario, we can know how strong winds and flooding co-occur. It captures inland inundation. The plans recommended explicitly balance the competing goals of reducing risk and travel times, account for uncertainty in the hurricane behavior, and take advantage of information increasing through the event. The tool also enables an evaluation of how good an evacuation was. We are excited at how our private government and academic partners are collaborating to make this technology platform a reality for emergency managers. Through the Civic Innovation Challenge, we have the potential to make a scalable, sustainable, and transferable impact on communities that are in high-risk areas for hurricanes. As the threat of hurricanes grows, we can do more to protect ourselves. The ISE tool offers an exciting new opportunity to help emergency managers with the important work they do for our communities, making us all safer. Through this collaborative civic innovation project, we are well on our way to moving the ISE tool from its current status as a research product into an operational tool that emergency managers across the country can use. In the coming year, we expect to complete the work of installing it on the Disaster Tech platform making it fast enough so that it can be used to support decisions during real hurricanes and developing an interactive user interface to make it easier to use. We look forward to continuing this work until that vision becomes a reality.